Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, my name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this um, really cute spring summer cardigan and I really love it. The free pattern is available as always on my blog selinaveronique.com. The link is in the down bar. And this um, cardigan comes in sizes S2 triple XL and it's really easy to crochet. As you can see it features a filet crochet design that I will be going through and two pockets that features a chain arc edging. So this cardigan is crocheted with um, three skeins of Caron cotton angel cakes. So I say three because I did need a bit of a third skein so I used two full skeins and then I needed a bit of a third but as you can see I've got a lot left. And so this um, yarn is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. It is um, 530 yards per skein and it's considered a medium for yarn. And this is shade faded jeans and you can use any um, shade you like. I love this yarn, it's amazing. So this yarn is perfect for the spring and summer. And so I also used a 5mm crochet hook, a 4.5mm crochet hook. You will also be needing a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. And you can also, um, you might need um, pins, sewing pins, just to um, sew in your pockets. That's optional. I don't use sewing pins, but um, yeah. So just check out the description box for all the details about this cardigan and check out my blog if you want to crochet um, any size from S to triple XL. I will be demonstrating size S um, for this tutorial. Um, so like I said, if you want to make another size, you can follow along this tutorial and follow along on my blog. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, that really helps out my channel. And if you want more feminine crochet content, don't forget to check out my Patreon page, the link is in the down bar. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. And one last thing, I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets. So to begin this tutorial, I will be showing you how to um, crochet the back panel. And then I will be showing you how to crochet the two front panels. Then I'll show you how to make the sleeves and then the pockets and then how to sew on the pockets and... Um, pop all your edgings onto the cardigan. So I'm just going to start by showing you how to crochet the back panel. Okay, so to begin this tutorial you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and we will be using the 5mm crochet hook. Pop your hook through and for the front panel, for size S, you will be chaining 77 and if you are making a different size, just go ahead on my blog and check out what how many chains you need. But for size S, we will be chaining 77. So one, two, three. So I've chained less, but the principle will be the exact same. So you should have 77 chains or more depending on your size and now you are going to be counting 1, 2, 3 and 4 chains from your hook and in that fourth chain from your hook you are going to be placing a double crochet. So to make your double crochet wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that chain, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through two loops, take your yarn and pull through two loops and that creates a double crochet and the first chain three here counts as a double crochet. So now you are going to be placing another double crochet 
into the next chain so just go ahead and place a double crochet into that and into the next chain and into the next chain and just place a double crochet into each chain across so I've placed a double crochet into each chain across and that is row one. And now for row two, you are going to be chaining three. One, two, and three. And that counts as your first double crochet. Now turn your work, and obviously this first double crochet goes with this first stitch here. So we are going to be going directly into the second stitch with a double crochet. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into that and then go into the next stitch with a double crochet and into the next stitch with a double crochet and into the next stitch with a double crochet and just place a double crochet into each and every stitch across I've almost finished, so I'm just going to um, finish this row like so. So I've almost finished this row and just um, pay attention to the chain three from the previous row because that also counts as a stitch. So you will be placing a double crochet also into this. So this is what you should have. So now once you've done this, you are going to be creating row three, which is the filet crochet row. So to create that row, you are going to be chaining four, one, two, three, and four. Turn your work, and this counts as your first double crochet in chain one, and it goes with this stitch here. Now you are going to be skipping the next stitch and going into the next with a double crochet and that creates um, your first space now you are going to be chaining one skipping a stitch and going into the next with a double crochet and chain one skip a stitch and go into the next with a double crochet obviously your row will be a lot longer but the principle is the same chain one skip a stitch and go into the next which is the chain three from the previous row and place a double crochet into this and this is what you have for row three so these are the rows that we will be alternating throughout. So I'm going to show you how to, um, so we will always have two rows of double crochets and then one row of um, double crochets and chain spaces. So now for the next row, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. And this counts as your first double crochet and goes with this first stitch here. And this is going to be a full row of double crochets. So you are going to be placing a double crochet into the second stitch, which is also the chain one from the previous row. So place your double crochet into that. Now place a double crochet into the next stitch. And then place a double crochet into the chain one from the previous row. And then place a double crochet into the next stitch. And then place a double crochet into the chain one. And place a double crochet into the next stitch. And then place a double crochet into the next um, um, stitch and this is the fourth chain that we did from the previous row which counted as a chain space so we still need to place another double crochet to finish off this row at the top of the third 
chain which counted as a double crochet so I hope this makes sense so just make sure you have if you need to don't forget you can count your double crochets from row to row just to make sure that you have the right amount of stitches from row to row so this is what you should have um, and now you are simply going to be repeating um, row 2 which is a chain 3 it counts as a double crochet turn your work and it goes with this first stitch here now go into the second stitch with a double crochet and so on and so forth and carry this on and then the row after that will be um, a repeat of row 3 and so on and so forth so just carry on um, with this pattern until for size S you will have 37 rows in total for size S so check out my blog obviously the pattern is on my blog for free for the different sizes how many rows you will need um, but this is pretty straightforward so just carry on this pattern until you reach 37 rows for size S and then fasten off okay so I've crocheted my um, 37 rows for the back panel in total and this is what it looks like and now for um, the two front panels so you will be crocheting your um, two front panels um, it's the same pattern as um, the back except obviously because it's a cardigan you have two panels so they are um, smaller in width and so to make your front panels you will be um, chaining 39 and following the exact same process that I just showed you for um, the back panel except you will be chaining 39 and making obviously two front panels and you will have 37 rows in total also so just go ahead and make those and obviously um, the indications I'm giving you are for size S for the other sizes just check my blog for the free um, pattern then once you've done um, your front and your front panels and your back panels you will be making your sleeves and obviously you will have two sleeves and for the sleeves you will be chaining 67 and you will be crocheting 26 rows in total so I'll let you um, do that and yeah and then once you've done all your parts um, I'll get back to you to show you how to sew the whole project together and add the finishing touches. Okay, so um, now that you have all your, the parts of your cardigan, I'm going to show you how to assemble this cardigan and how to sew it together. So to begin with, you will be taking one sleeve and placing it like so. Now you are going to be folding it in half and this creates your sleeve as you can see you need to take a piece of yarn like so and attach it to the project okay so I've placed my um, yarn on I've attached my piece of yarn to this project and now I'm just going to sew in the seam of the cardigan so to sew the seam of the cardigan I'm going to be using the mattress stitch so um, the mattress stitch is a more seamless um, stitch however you can use um, whichever stitch you prefer so you can use whichever stitch you prefer for this um, project so as you can see the mattress stitch is you're just going to be um, going in one side and then into the other so apologies I seem to be losing my yarn off the so there you go so just go ahead 
and um, sew in this seam and I'll show you how to finish off this seam in one minute. So just go ahead and sew this in. Okay, so I've sewed both my sleeves. I forgot to um, show you, to film um, the end of um, the seam. However, that's very easy. Just um, tie a knot at the end of the seam and then fasten off and then tidy up your loose end. I will be linking a video that I filmed on how to tidy up your loose ends. So I've done both sleeves as you can see and now we are simply going to be setting these um, to the side. Okay so next what we are going to be doing is sewing the top of the cardigan. So I've placed um, both uh, both front panels symmetrically over the back panel so I'm trying to show you as best I can on camera but you could also consult um, the photographs on my blog so just make sure that um, the top of the cardigan and the front panels lay completely um, um, symmetrically on top of each other without any spaces and what we are going to be doing is sewing this in straight across so you are going to be taking your loose end I have a loose end um, if you don't have a loose end you could um, attach a piece of yarn and just um, using once again that mattress stitch you are going to be um, sewing this um, this seam straight across without any gaps so that means just sew straight across um, both panels onto the um, back panel and then I'll get back to you okay so um, I finished um, stitching my seam all the way across as you can see um, the front opening has been created. Now we are going to be um, sewing on this sleeve. So to sew on your sleeve, just make sure that the seam is facing down. So now I'm just going to explain what I'm going to be doing. So what I like to do when I'm stitching up a cardigan or jumper, I like to start with the front of the project. So what I do is I take my front Front panel and I start sewing it to the front of the sleeve I'm just gonna go down um, and then what I am going to be doing is carry on stitching this seam all the way down and then once I've done that I flip the cardigan over and then I just sew in the back of the sleeve to the back of the cardigan and I think it just gives a more seamless um, stitching rather than stitching in the sleeve and then stitching both um, the bottom panels down but that's just my uh, my two cents that's how I like to do it so I've attached my loose uh, end and I'm just gonna start stitching the front of the cardigan to the front of the sleeve and I'll let you do that once again with the mattress stitch and so once you've finished um, sewing the front of the sleeve to the front panel just go down and sew um, the rest of the cardigan in and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've gone all the way down and I've actually fastened off and I'm really liking what I've done. So now I'm just going to flip, um, I'm just going to check that, yep, yeah, my stitching is good on this side. Now I'm just going to flip this over. And as you can see, um, I've still got the back of the cardigan to um, sew in. So now I'm just going to do this. Um, just make sure that you are happy with how... Um, just make sure that you readjust this part properly. I might start my stitching on this side, just because then it'll be easier, I think to finish here and just readjust it once I finished but yeah just make sure that you adjust your sleeve 
um, the right way and that you sew in your sleeve properly and I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the pattern. Okay, so I've sewed my crochet project together completely and now I'm going to show you how to crochet the bottom border and um, the sleeves. So um, we are going to be starting with the bottom border. We are going to be using the 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and we are going to be um, working um, starting from this point and we're going to go all the way around up to um, the other side and then go back and forth as the rounds um, take place. So to begin with you are going to be attaching your yarn with this 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I am going to be turning this project around. Okay so this is the project I've just popped my hook through. I am going to be chaining one and this does count as a single crochet. I am going to be going into the next stitch and placing a single crochet into that. So to place your single crochet just go directly through this stitch, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops and you are going to be going into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch and just place a single crochet all the way around until you reach the end of this um, row and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've gone all the way around um, with this first row of single crochets. So now for row two, we are simply um, going to be um, chaining two, one and two. Turn your work. So obviously this is a large project, so it's a bit more difficult to maneuver with a large project. Let me just zoom in there we go so we've chained two and this is um <clears throat> excuse me this counts as our first half double crochet now what we will be doing is going and it goes with this first stitch here what we will be doing now is going into the next stitch with a half double crochet so to create your half double crochet wrap your yarn around your hook Go into this stitch, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, take your yarn and go through all three loops. So go through all three loops like so and this creates your first half double crochet. Now go into the next stitch with another half double crochet and into the next stitch with another half double crochet and into the next stitch and just carry on placing half double crochets all the way around until you reach the end of this row. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and I've placed my last um, half double crochet in, um, in this stitch, in the last um, stitch, which was also the chain one from the previous row. So now what we are going to be doing for the next row is to chain two and um, turn our work. And once again, this chain two counts as a half double crochet and it goes with this first stitch here. What we are going to be doing is placing a half double crochet into the next stitch and the next stitch and go all the way around 
once again and just um, carry on this pattern. So what we will be doing is um, finish off this row and then add four more rows of identical half um, double crochet rows so that we have six half double crochet rows in total. So just go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how to crochet your sleeves. Okay, so now that we've done the bottom edging, I am going to be showing you how to make the um, sleeves. So I've already made one sleeve, as you can see, and I'm going to show you how to make the second sleeve. So to make your sec uh, well, both sleeves, obviously, you will be repeating this process on each side. So to crochet your um, sleeve cuffs, you will be using your 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will be attaching your yarn to a stitch, so you can use any stitch along um, the edging of your sleeve. I okay, so once you've attached your sleeve, just pop uh, your yarn, pop your hook through like so and chain one and this chain one counts as a single crochet so now that you've done that you will be um, skipping the next stitch and going into the next with a single crochet once again so just pop your hook through and place your single crochet into that as you can see i am tidying up my loose end as i go now skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet and carry on um, with this pattern until you go, you've gone all the way around, so skip one stitch and place a single crochet into the next stitch and I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the pattern. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and I've almost finished and so to finish off this um, pattern, well this row, I'm simply going to be um, slip stitching through the first chain that I did, um, there we go, slip stitching and you can see that it's considerably tightened um, the, um, the um, sleeve opening. So now what we are going to be doing is chaining two, one and two and this counts as a half double crochet and we are simply going to be placing half double crochets all the way around um, in each and every stitch around um, for row two so just place a half double crochet into each stitch across and then I'll show you what to do after that okay so I've placed all my half double crochets so now I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two that we did at the beginning to close off this round and what we are going to be doing now is repeating this row another five times so that we have six rows of half double crochets on each sleeve so just go ahead and repeat this row another five times and I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the pattern okay so I've just done my um, last row and slip stitch so now I'm simply going to slip off my yarn and um, pull through to close off the last round and this is our sleeve so repeat this process on the other side and now I'm going to show you how to crochet the front edging of your cardigan Okay, so now we're going to do the front opening of our cardigan. So I'm going to try and show you on camera, but obviously this is um, more difficult to show on camera because, um, yeah, of the size of the cardigan. But basically we are going to be going all the way around the front opening from the bottom here, this side, and all the way up here and then onto the other side for our first row we will be using the five millimeter crochet hook and I've just attached my yarn on the bottom corner here I'm going to be popping my hook through and chaining one 
And now I am simply, I'm going to zoom in, hoping it will help. And now I'm simply going to be placing a single crochet all across this edge. But please um, note that this is what I call the wrong side of the stitches. So you don't have a specific stitch into which you will be placing a single crochet. You just need to place um, a certain amount of single crochets across this edge. Um, just make sure that these single crochets are evenly spaced and that they do not tighten your project. And yeah, you should be fine. That There's not a specific amount of single crochets you need to place. Just make sure that they are evenly spaced. And just go all the way around um, the front opening like I showed you. Um, and then I'll show you what to do for row two. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. Um, and now what we are going to be doing is um, chaining two, so chain two, one and two. In this, I'm just going to zoom in. And this counts as our first half double crochet with this first stitch here. So what we are going to be doing is going directly into the second stitch with a half double crochet, like so. And then into the next stitch with a half double crochet and just place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach um, the other side. And so once you've reached um, the other side, I'll show you how to finish off this row. So there we go, I've placed um, my last half double crochet on um, this row and now I'm just going to snip off my yarn. I've just um, lost my scissors so I'll have to do that off camera. But yes, yeah, snip off your yarn and pull your yarn through to close this off. And that's it, your, um, your front edging has been done. And okay, so now I'm going to show you how to crochet your pockets. So obviously you will be needing two pockets. And um, this is a very simple design. As you can see, it's just row after row of half double crochets. And there's a chain arc edging at the top. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump into the tutorial. Okay, so to begin your pocket, you will be uh, making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through. And we are using the five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so now that you've um, done your slip knot, you are going to be chaining 24. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've chained less, but the principle will be the exact same. So you should now have 24 um, chains on your, um, on your hook, and you are going to be counting one and two and three chains from the hook and popping a half double crochet into that chain. So to create your half double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the chain, Pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through three loops. And that's your first half double crochet. And now you are simply, and the first two at the beginning of, the first chain two at the beginning of the row counts as a half double crochet. Now just place a half double crochet into each and every chain across until you reach the end of this um, row. So I've almost finished. There we go. And I'm placing my last half double crochet. Obviously you will have a longer row because obviously um, 
you'll have 24 chains in total. So once you've done that, chain 2, 1 and 2 for row 2, turn your work and this counts as your first half double crochet that goes with this first stitch. So you are going to be going directly into the second um, chain, a uh, stitch with a half double crochet and another half double crochet and you are placing a half double crochet into each chain across until you reach the end of this row so I've almost finished this row and as you can see um, I've almost finished my row but I just wanted to point out um, to not forget your first chain two at the beginning of the row so don't forget that chain two go ahead and pop a half double crochet through this and this is row two and now you are simply going to be repeating um, row two until you have let me check so you will be repeating row two until you have 24 rows in total. So just go ahead and repeat this um, second row until you have 24 rows in total. And then I'll show you your chain arc edging. I'm actually going to show you this chain arc edging now, how to do it. Obviously yours will be a lot longer, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so to begin your chain arc edging, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. And this chain three goes with this first stitch here. Now skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet. So place a single crochet in this stitch. Now chain three, one, two, and three. Skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet, chain three, one, two and three, skip a stitch and go into the next, and chain three, one, two and three, skip a stitch and go into the last stitch which is also the chain two from the previous row and obviously your row will be a lot longer but this is what it should look like and now you are simply once you've done that you will be um fastening off and i've left quite a long tail for sewing i'm gonna try and show you on camera with the real pocket so i've left i think about a meter of yarn just to sew it onto the project easier. So I've placed my first pocket three inches from the bottom of the cardigan as you can see and then um, two inches um, from the center opening. So that's what I've done. So I've written all of this on my blog, of course. So that's what I've measured. And that's obviously where you should be um, placing your second pocket that I'm going to show you how to place and sew. So just go ahead and place, um, measure and place. So how many did I say? Two inches, two inches. So just go ahead and place your pocket um, like I've just showed you what to do and then I'll show you how to sew it in. Okay, so I've placed my um, tapestry needle on the pocket and I'm going to start sewing this pocket in to my project, the front opening. So again, I'm just going to be using a very basic stitch um, just to sew it in, I hope you can see. So yeah, I'm just going to go all the way down, um, sewing this in, um, obviously make sure you do, um, you sew your pocket in straight. Um, you can use some, actually I've just thought you can use pins to secure it. I never use pins to sew um, because I'm quite good at um, 
yeah, sewing things straight and everything, but you could definitely use some pins if you need if you need them. And just go all the way down and then all the way across and then all the way up. And then once you've done that, I'll show you what to do then. Mm -hmm. 